Hello there. Uh, I've been meaning to do a video like this for a while, but I haven't because really I'm not like your uh, fashion guy. I don't, I, I want to look well in a suit and stuff like that, but I'm not ate up with the fine minutia in detail. Uh, I used to be when I was younger, uh, and there's a way that a man should wear a suit uh, that lets other men that know know that you know what you're doing. But and we might get into some of that. I don't know. I really am more into shaving and guitar playing and building and and woodworking and stuff like that than I am stuff like this. But I have to wear a suit three times a week. Uh, in church, as a deacon, as a Sunday school teacher, as a preacher, you know, I have to, uh, so if you're going to wear it, you just well wear it well. But I have had several friends of mine over the last couple of years uh, who, who have remarked to me they don't even know how to tie a tie. Uh, as a man, you should know how to tie a tie. Nothing looks worse than a clip-on tie or a tie that somebody did badly uh so if you're gonna have to there are times you're probably gonna have to wear a suit if you're gonna have to wear one you want to look as best you can and so this is the knot that i'm going to teach you today is a simple knot called a a single windsor knot uh, i prefer what's known as a double windsor because it's more symmetrical it's a bit bigger knot but a lot of people call that a power knot it's the kind of knot you would use in a boardroom that or a four in hand uh, because it's a big uh, impressive kind of knot and to be quite honest with you some of the old guys in the uh, <clears throat> uh, some of the old executives and stuff in the big business world and they recognize that knot right off the bat and know that the man that it speaks that the guy knows a bit that he's a professional that he's confident believe it or not it does i know this day and age people go well that don't matter it does in a boardroom a lot of times uh it still matters uh, and those small little things that most guys won't think anything of, that that 60-year-old executive recognizes that that guy knows those little things that kind of say there are small things uh, that culturally set people apart from other people. And one of them is the way that you dress. Believe it or not, like it or not, that's the truth. So... But anyway, single wins or not, this knot will get you through 90% of anything that you need. Now, you have a dominant hand, and mine in this case is my left hand, and a non-dominant hand. When you tie a tie, you want the small end in your dominant hand. Your large end goes in your non-dominant hand. This is the way it works for me. You pull your collar up. Your non-dominant, your dominant hand with the small end, okay? And what you want to do when you tie this knot, you want your, this triangle or this yeah, diamond or whatever you want to call that. That's a triangle, okay? Either this tip barely touches the top of your belt buckle or it lays, say this is the width of your belt buckle, it lays over your belt buckle like that. That's a properly tied tie. That's properly, I prefer that. Okay, I'm running out of battery now. Everything that could happen is happening. Hold on. I've tried to do this video a couple of times and cut it off because I 
couldn't speak. It's it's early in the morning for me, and uh, <clears throat> my brain ain't firing right. So now I've got this, and I dropped my tie on the floor. Anyway, your non-dominant, your dominant hand has the small end of the tie. It goes over your dominant shoulder. And what you want to do is you want to work out so that <clears throat> when you tie the knot, it'll be the tie will be long enough. So you're going to pull it down. What I do is I pull mine down. To be honest, where this is between my knees, this end, because uh, that's just my body height. You will work it out on your body how long this and has to be down in order for you to get it right and it will uh, vary depending on the kind of knot you tie to. Single wins or not. You'll take your dominant hand and pick up your non-dominant with your non-dominant hand the big side and it, the, the non-dominant hand will go over your dominant hand. And then you take Now you have the small one in your non-dominant, you've switched hands, okay? And that goes underneath that way and here. A lot of guys will go here and do that. But you see how asymmetrical that Begin, the beginning of that knot is here. The knot will look like that if you do that. You want to come over here where it looks more of a diamond or a triangle pattern, upside down triangle. You see the difference in the shape of that, that that knot is starting to form. That's what you're looking for. Then you come across, back up. Take your and now while the knot is fairly big, you take your finger, put you, you're gonna put your you're gonna put hold on, let me adjust so you see. You're gonna put these fingers on either side. You're gonna take this finger and press it up in here. And push the center so that you squeeze it together. See that? It's what you're looking for. That's also an important part of tying a tie, believe it or not. And you see. You've got a pretty symmetrical knot. It's just a little bit off over here, but not enough. Once you drop the collar down, if I could get it to come down, and straighten the tie out, you've got your dimple in your tie the way you need it. It's nice and symmetrical good to go that's how easy tying a tie is it's not that difficult and this knot right here will carry you through 90 percent of the things that you want in a tie you know when you put a suit on most of the time this will work everywhere except like and you can use it in the boardroom and stuff like that but the other knots are just they're knots that are more complicated and they harken back to a, a, an earlier time and uh, the rich, uh, the powerful, they will recognize those knots. But most people, this will work just fine. This is what I use. It, it's a simple knot. Uh, it's not making any kind of bold statement. It's just It just looks nice and uh, neat and clean and, you know, that's what I'm looking for. 
All right. God bless you. And I hope that helps. Later.